Well guys, it's been forever since I've uploaded a video. I apologize. I've been sick, I was very busy, I was sick again, and it's cold. But here we go. This is just a quick little video. And uh, <clears throat> I've been doing a lot of reviews lately, so I just kind of want to break up the monotony a little bit of that. And uh, so I'm going to try something a little different. I'm going to try lighting the cigar with a hemp wick. This is something that I'm completely unfamiliar with. Uh, someone commented on one of my videos a little while ago saying that uh, the initial flavor of the cigar was a little bit better after lighting it with a hemp wick. I have a coworker who has been relentlessly trying to get me to try out lighting a cigar with a hemp wick. Now, obviously, a more traditional method would be to use a cedar spill, and that's what is typically done as far as the, the more traditional cigar lighting. But we're gonna try out some hemp wick, because that same coworker gave me this. And uh, full disclosure, I've actually tried this once before, yesterday, when I tried to film this video, and then went and found out that the whole thing was out of focus. And I do mean completely out of focus, otherwise I would've just sloughed it through, because I'm lazy. But no, completely out of focus, couldn't upload it. So this is my second attempt, and here's what we're gonna do. I have two identical cigars. I'm using the Factory Smokes Sun Grown from Drew Estate. Two of the exact same cigars. I'm gonna light one with the Butane Torch, which is what I usually do. And then I'm gonna try lighting the other with the Hemp Wick. Try and see if there's any difference. I did notice a difference yesterday, and uh, we'll see what happens today. I'll give you my honest opinion. Unfortunately, my first impression is ruined. But here goes, let's get these cigars cut up. All right, both almost identical. Very easy draw, somewhat raisiny. Uh, okay, so first up, same as I usually do, I'm gonna toast the foot of this thing using my butane torch. Let's get lit. All right guys, to start off with, this thing had a little bit of a charred oak flavor and a decent amount of spice with a particular amount of harshness to the back of the throat. This is normally the time where I'd like to set this thing down, let it rest a little bit, get a drink, and then see how it changes after the light. But because this test is just purely how it tastes right after the light, I'm gonna leave it at that. Now don't worry, there's not gonna be any tobacco abuse here. The cigar will not go to waste. But the exact same cigar, we are now gonna light using the hemp wick. Now the texture of this stuff, if you're as unfamiliar with it as I am, it's kind of a waxy texture. It is kind of similar to like a candle wick, so I see why it's called that. And it seemed yesterday that it does burn fairly slow, and that's an issue that I have a lot of times, is I just can't toast a cigar very properly with a cedar spill, because it seems like it's always burning too fast on me. And I always end up burning my fingers. Now the flame on this isn't super significant in size, but it looks like I can get a decent toast off of it. I actually charred the crap out of the cigar yesterday in the video that I messed up. All right guys, and again, yes, there is a noticeable difference. I really wasn't expecting it to be as dramatic but I don't think it's a, a, a super <clears throat> hidden fact that butane does affect the flavor of tobacco right off the bat. And I mention that a lot in my reviews, at least I think I do. Um, but I try not to go on too much about it right at the initial light of the cigar because like that last cigar, I had a bunch of harshness in the back of the throat. That's not something I would usually mention in a review, keeping in mind that it was probably just because of the light. A lot of times it'll have like a really heavy spicy flavor right after the light and that'll mellow out. With, with this light off of the hemp wick, similar to with a cedar spill, you're not getting a lot of those harsher flavors. There's no harshness in the back of the throat on this lit cigar here. Um, aside from that, 
rather than like a charred oak flavor, it was more of a smooth oak flavor. So, <clears throat> not necessarily different flavors, but different versions of the flavors that were already there. Still a little bit of spice, no harshness, still oakiness, just not a charred oak flavor. So I think you're probably just getting a little bit more of the flavors that you normally get after you let a cigar rest, if you're like that, I don't. That's what I like to do. I'll take a few puffs off of it, I'll let it rest, and then I'll kind of get into smoking it with some regularity after that. With this, you may or may not have to do that because right off the bat, you're getting good flavors out of the cigar. So I will say, <clears throat> I'm impressed with it. Um, I'm not usually the kind of guy that goes after hemp products. I'm not interested in weed or anything like that. I don't care for it personally. No offense if you, know, if you do, I just personally don't. However, I still will say that this is a pretty decent product and you use a lot less of it lighting than you would, let's say a cedar spill. I'll use an entire cedar spill like one cigar because I'm terrible at it. This, even I, with my butter fingers can do. So, there you go guys. Um, I have no idea where you buy it. I have no idea how you acquire it, but it works. And I will say it works pretty well. So there you go. I'm really sorry it's taking me so long to get some videos recorded. Um, hopefully you follow me on Instagram. You know that I haven't been idle, just sitting there sick. I've been doing photography, taking pictures, getting prepped, getting a line of cigars ready up for uh, some good reviews. I'm gonna start hammering those out as soon as I can and uh, get those videos uploaded. So there you go guys, happy smoking.